Oh yeah, today was a good day. Last day of the week. Put out fires wherever I could. Ugh. Boy, am I ready to go home. So yeah, I saw that the uh, Nintendo Switch just came out. I'm a bit of a Nintendo fan, like video games, so I'm looking forward to that. I might actually buy that when it comes out. I think my son would like that very much. Play Nintendo Switch in the car, play like racing games and stuff. I kind of wish Nintendo would just go with a full-fledged console, like super powerful console. It released yet another quirky device which is cool i mean it's it's awesome i mean finally we get to know after all the hype and all the secrecy we get a sneak peek as to what it is in a way i'm a bit disappointed though like what is the base station besides a uh, like a charging dock for the the thing is it just a ds like a nintendo ds with a charging dock and a huge screen it's just a tablet nintendo tablet in some ways i hope it's not touch screen I hope it's just a, an awesome screen with an awesome processor. But we don't know the specs yet, so we won't know for sure. And this sun is bright. <clears throat> it's pretty hard to make the most of your weekends whenever you're getting off on Saturday at 8 in the morning. The choice is, is like, when you're a night shift person, like, do you sleep now? Do you sleep? Or do you hang out with your family and go out now? And suffer and be tired? Later on, around 1 or 2 o'clock in the afternoon, I'll be suffering. Uh, the choices we have to make. Try and be happy. Yesterday's video got fucked up. That sucks. I accomplished some stuff and stuff, but wasn't able to get it filmed. That sucks. Went to the bank and stuff. It says the file was unreadable, so I lost the whole vlog there. I don't feel too bad about it though, because like that's kind of like just less work I have to do later with the edit. But uh, I'll probably end up editing everything up on uh, Sunday night and the family's asleep and I'll be wide awake. Ford EcoSport's nice. It's blue. This fucking truck. Thanks for running, dude. Appreciate that. Oh, look at the riding group. Got all got the same vest on. Cool. In some ways I was wish it was part of that, but like, I can't take my family along on that. Maybe I'll do that whenever I'm an old fart. I'll probably be able to do that like when my wife retires. And I'll be able to see more of her all the time. She can adjust her schedule to mine and stuff and take care of all the household stuff. And I'll be able to, uh, I won't feel bad about not seeing her on the weekends, her and Buddy. Whenever Buddy has uh, things to do of his own that he wants to do instead of us, like his own family and whatever. Do the riding group. Well, that's probably a long way off. It's probably years and years away. Uh, I should definitely try to cherish the time that I have here with my wife and kid coming up. These times are very precious. The time in and of itself is very precious. I think it's funny when like oncoming traffic challenges you. They're like dickheads and they don't move. Like you're coming and like they have spam. I'm talking about bikes by the way. Oncoming bike. It's like you're coming down the road and then you're in their lane. But they have plenty of space on their right side. And they can move the fuck over, but they don't. Like this, for example. See, people are coming up, wanting to pass, so I'll move over to the right so that they have enough space to pass. But people, sometimes, they don't do that. They have no courtesy or discipline or respect. It is truly a motherfucker to drive in the Philippines here. No discipline, no respect. Traffic is shit. Here, we'll see it here. See, this guy's got to be careful because somebody might try to... Fucking like play chicken with him. He's going a bit slow though. Mm, fuck him. Man, the traffic backed up. It's backed up far. We're about like one and a half kilometers from the intersection that's causing this. About a mile, full mile. It's always like this. And this guy just wearing slippers. Well, I got a big ass truck coming. I'll move over for him. This guy's driving a little bit slow for my taste. I'd like to be passing a little faster, but. He's not driving slow enough to where I can easily pass him. I gotta really, really have to race the engine too much. See, this isn't good right here. I'm, I'm on the side here, on the side of the truck. There's space, but not much. That ain't no good there, see? Like, my foot's about to get run over here or some shit. See, now this McDonald's is blocking the way. There, he moved. I'm getting the shade here. This is one of the most fucked up intersections that I live near. It's got four roads dumping into it. Five, technically, if you count the expressway. Five directions dumping into it. And then the other side of the expressway, another five. No traffic lights. They tell me like 10, 15 years ago they used to have traffic lights here, but that shit doesn't work. Nobody follows traffic lights strictly here. Nobody has any discipline. 
but they might follow a guy with a stick though a little better I mean, it doesn't work perfectly but it's what we have here i can smell fucking gas i wonder if it's me man this shit's gonna be a long time before we go we got enough to let the lane in front of us go directly ahead oncoming go first before we go normally what's that that's what they do yeah i like the expressway go they only let one lane go at a time five fucking lanes pushing into traffic here yep dude this shit smells like my bike man i really hope it's not I gauge a lot how long we've been here. I think it's about five to ten minutes now. We're sitting at the fucking intersection. Wait, it makes sense though. I mean, there's nowhere for the cars to go, really. If they flood the other ways. Shit, here comes a Jeep. He ain't gonna give a fuck. Here comes a big truck. It's gonna be blocked up. But at least we're next to go. They're letting the uh, oncoming lane go. Holy shit. Now we all get to go. Look at that guy sitting sideways. <laughs> he got an automatic. Don't have to change gears or nothing, so... Let's just sit like a... Like a quadriplegic... I don't even know. Probably sitting like that because you sat so long at the intersection, getting all cramped up. They're selling cars. Got flyers for the cars. Ah, oh, home sweet home. Look at the cat street full of fucking shit dog shit everywhere <laughs> thank god I'm home get to be with my family alright don't forget to like share subscribe and all the bullshit peace Who's that lady? Looks like Lola.